I've always had a dream to rescue an organ from a church and rebuild it in our house. You might have been expecting part six, the blower, wind reservoir and pedal rank. But this is just about the pedal rank. Now, when Willis built this junior development plan organ in 1963, they only used 12 stopped pipes for the bottom octave of the pedals. The rest of the pipes for the 16 foot, 8 foot, 4 foot and 2 foot stops were borrowed from the Great Skid Act. These genuine 12 pipes are on their own wind chest, so they made a nice contained unit for the first installation. The first step was to bring back the pipes and the wind chest from storage and put them temporarily in the pit. Having checked the best orientation for the blower in order to fit it in the pit, I decided to move the pedal pipes from the left to the right hand side of the pit. The original design for the wind had the blower pumping air directly into the pedal wind chest, i.e. not through a reservoir, so I decided to keep this set up. I had to solder a new wiring for the solenoid in the chest, and I connected the wiring to a J Omega MTP7 MIDI to parallel converter board, which will allow MIDI signals from the console to control the solenoids and pallets in the chest. With the wind chest, pipes and blower connected and in the pit, I could just wire a MIDI controller keyboard to the J Omega board to test the installation. I had a number of holes to fill and some sealing to do to reduce the amount of wind escaping, which you can hear on the test video. I also need to adjust the speaking of the bottom pipe. 